Hey yo everyone, it's Haku here and I have got a One Piece anime review for you today. And this is my review of this week's episode which was 731? 731? Yeah, and we know this one is going to be the Viola and Doflamingo episode. Even though we honestly didn't get that much Viola and Doflamingo, I don't think. I mean, it didn't take up that much screen time. Either way, going into this, I had really mixed feelings, and after watching it, I still have really mixed feelings. So, um, let's discuss those feelings together. So I thought last week was good, and that led into me getting mixed feelings, because I think that this ep last week turned a sort of boring part of the manga, and they put a lot into it to try to make it exciting, and it turned out being a pretty good episode, something that I could rewatch. I feel like they tried to do that again this week, but they didn't put nearly as much into it, and it wasn't that great. Like, I, I have a lot of complaints about this one, but I have a lot of good things, a lot of things to praise it on, too. A few things. So, um, yeah, I'll let's get into those and break those down. First up, we have the opening that, of course, same opening as usual. One Piece does not get new openings often enough. It's getting really stale watching that. And of course, yeah, you can just skip it, but I mean, you shouldn't want to. It should be good. You should want to watch the opening every episode. That's what I think about anime openings, and that's how Hard Knock Days is, but it's really getting stale. The recap, in my opinion, wasn't that bad. It, wasn't, it was boring, but it wasn't very long. It was less than two minutes, I think, I would say for sure. So, um, yeah, it wasn't that bad. Recap wasn't bad. So with the beginning with Doflamingo, that looked a lot cooler than last week, especially the impaling part, because it was much clearer, it wasn't just... It was still sort of censored, but it wasn't censored badly. They should have been doing this the entire time, and just instead of just random purple silhouettes, this was a bit censored, like shadowed and stuff, but that just made it look more menacing and cooler. So, where they failed in all the past episodes, I did think they redeemed themselves with that a bit here. But even with that said, they used like 10 seconds of still screen with Doflamingo talking. Like, the screen was completely still. Nothing was animated for a good 10 seconds. So, yeah, just bringing that up, even though it looked a lot nicer than last week or the week before, there was a still screen and it was pretty bad. So we've got, we got the uh, reused animation uh, once again of those same buildings being cut for like the 40th time. So again, there's another big, big animation thing that is bugging me and I did not like. That reused animation was pretty bad. Pretty badly done there. Um, then we had Viola and Doflamingo, and a lot of people like Viola, but ever since the beginning of Dressrosa, I have not liked Viola's character, personally. Even, even Rebecca is... Rebecca whines a lot, and after, like... Rebecca was good up until the finals, I thought, then at the finals she really started to suck, and she has done nothing since then except whine. And even then, I think Rebecca is far more interesting than Viola, because Viola's just boring. It's not that she's a bad character, I just find her very dull. Very boring. And again this episode, she was munching ass cheeks. Like, she just sucked. She, she, we all knew she didn't stand a chance against Dofi. And it just, it wasn't very good. It wasn't very well animated. It was... Nice to see more characters doing more things, but it wasn't very well animated. I mean, there were lots of boobs bouncing everywhere, if that's what you want in an anime. But I mean, uh, looking for actual content there, it wasn't very uh, very well done. So we kept flashing back to the uh, birdcage people, but I didn't mind that. I thought that the birdcage pushing was a lot more, was probably the most interesting part of the episode. I personally thought it was way more interesting than the really dragged out Viola and Rebecca stuff. So I liked seeing all the people pushing the birdcage and all the Navy and the citizens joining in. I thought that was nice. It wasn't great or anything, but it was nice. And something that was great, best part of the episode, was Fujitora joining in. 
And Fujitor is great. Absolutely love his character. And the animation was done very well. It was noticeably way better than the rest of the episode. So um, props to them for that. Especially the hockey on his sword looked very good. So, yeah. And also bringing up all of the random soldiers that had hockey. Like, what the heck? A bunch of random soldiers have armament hockey and, like, a bunch of these big characters we know of don't? So, that was pretty crazy. Um, I'm sure it was in the manga as well. But um, I just thought it was interesting how all the little scrub foot soldiers, a bunch of them had hockey. But I liked it nonetheless. I also think that... Um, it was very good seeing how that portrays both, and how One Piece in general portrays both the good and the bad in their pirates and in their navy. Because, like, we see the good and bad in pirates a lot, how the Straw Hats and certain pirate crews are good, and Dofi's family and some are just evil doing terrible stuff, and how the same is true of the Marines. The Marines here on Dress Rosa are trying to do good things. They're trying to help push back the birdcage. They were genuinely trying to capture bad guys and save good guys. And <clears throat> that's not true of the uh, Marines and Navy that we often see in One Piece. So I thought it was nice to see them showing the good in them here. So the birdcage stopping was so good. It was animated really well and the sound, the sound and the voice acting with Zoro was so good. The way it just had the silence, it was done very well. That part was done extremely well, and actually I could see myself rewatching that part, because that was really good. That was probably the most rewatchable part of this episode. That or the uh, hockey from um, Fujitora. I was doing the little uh, the sword thing. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was good. Both of those things were good. And then back into Rebecca just whining. She watches Viola fight and does nothing but whine. Even after Viola's captured, she doesn't try to jump in. And they both get captured with Doflamingo's string stuff. The parasite. Parasito. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Doflamingo was really cool. We didn't get much progress. We probably had like two minutes of One Piece time that stretched out for this entire episode. And of course we see from the previews that next episode is probably going to be 60 seconds stretched out into an entire episode. So I don't have high hopes for next week. I was hoping that this week could do what last week did, but it didn't. It didn't, but it was still better than the Sabo and Burgess episode. Still better than that. Way better paced. Um, animation was better, even though the animation wasn't very good. So, um... Yeah, there are, there's a lot of really good to this episode and a lot of really bad. It's a bit polarizing, really. And I'm sure that no matter who you are watching it, you probably had a lot of mixed feelings because there was a lot of good, good and interesting stuff and a lot of bad stuff. So, eh, it was a really balanced episode, really um, average. So in the end, I've got to say that the animation wasn't very good, but it wasn't terrible. The music choices were all right. They weren't, they weren't anything special. There was one part where Rebecca was running to fight Doflamingo that I thought the music didn't fit very well, but it wasn't terrible. It wasn't like, it wasn't like something bad or anything. So, I mean, that's just a small issue. And overall, I thought that the episode was pretty all right. It was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't some great thing that I'm going to go rewatch. It was just kind of, a meh normal episode. All of that said, I think I'm going to give it a 6.5 random soldiers with hockey out of 10. And really, that's not a bad score at all for me. 6.5 out of 10, it was pretty good. It was a little average. <laughs> it was pretty average. So I thank you guys for watching. Like if you liked the video. Comment down there. Tell me what you thought of my thoughts or what you thought of the episode. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of you saying I was too or depending on how many people even comment. There's probably those of you that think I was a bit too harsh on it, and probably plenty of you as well that thought it was terrible and I wasn't harsh enough. And both of those, um, both of those standpoints are pretty valid, I would say, with an episode like this. <clears throat> Voice cracking. So either way, I thank you all so very much for watching. 
subscribe for more One Piece, Tower of God, and The Walking Dead, at least three videos per week, and follow on Twitter for updates unless I, uh, until I, ugh, in case, why did I say unless or until? That, that's not even close to in case. In case I need to tell you about anything, yeah, follow on Twitter. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, follow, and I will see you all next time.